Hi guys, how are you? It's Teacher A. And guess what we're gonna be doing today? We're gonna be doing question number three. That's right, question number three from this book, guys, from this great, fantastic book, which I love. And it, is, it has been written by Dr. Ibrahim, Mr. Ibrahim Koshir, and then his team is Dr. Mohammed Rifat, Mr. Hamdi Hassanain, and Dr. Mustafa Hamza. Thanks for the fantastic book, gentlemen. We're going to do question three from page 21 from this book, page 21. So please turn to page 21 and let's begin. Okay, so now what are they asking us in this problem right here? They are asking us to find the value of 120 minus, this is a subtraction sign, 64, divided by, this is a division sign, by 8 and multiplied by 4. Now it seems pretty simple, and it can be, as long as you know the PEMDAS rule. Now what is the PEMDAS rule? Hmm, let me see. Now, I will write PEMDAS right here. P E M D A S. Now, if you can't remember these letters, there's a very easy way to remember it. We can say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sue. Or you might want to call her Sarah. It's up to you. Okay? So, P is for parentheses. Now, you might say, well, what does that mean, teacher, parentheses? I don't know what that means. These are parentheses. So if you have a problem like this one, 4 plus 5, and then you have, mu you have multiplication on the outside, guess which one you're going to do first? Because parentheses comes before multiplication and division, you're going to do what's in the parentheses first. So this is what this is going to end up with. 4 plus 5 is 9. Multiplied by 2 will give you how much? 18. Now, like I said before in my previous videos, please review your times tables. Because if you don't know your times tables, you will not get a, you will not get a good grade in the GAT test. And please also don't forget to subscribe below. Please. Thank you. Okay, now, when we do a problem like this one, okay, we do the parentheses first. Now, in this case, do we have parentheses? We don't have parentheses. So, we don't have to worry about it here. Yay! The next E, please excuse my dear Aunt Sarah. E stands for exponents. Oops, I didn't like that E. It was a, a bit... Ah, let me rewrite it. E-X-P-O-N-E-N-T-S. Exponents. What are exponents? Hmm, let's take a look. 3 to the power of 2. That's an exponent. These go after the parentheses. So if we have a problem like this... Which one should we go do first? Should we do this first or should we do the parentheses? Well, we always start what's inside the parentheses, okay? Now here we have exponents and we have addition. So what are we going to do first? Are we going to do the addition first or are we going to do the exponents? Of course, because of PEMDAS, you're going to do the exponents before the addition. Look, the addition is all the way down, down here. And Sarah is all the way on the bottom. Excuse or exponents is all the way on top. So you will do your exponents first and then you will add. That's right. So in this case, how much is 3 to the power of 2 or 3 squared? That's right. This will actually give you 9. This will give you 9. So 9 plus 4 will give you 13. 13 plus 4 will give you 17. So we're done with exponents. Now, after x 
exponents, what goes next? Multiplication and division. Now, notice how I put them in on the same line, these guys. Why? Because they have the same power. The division cannot come first before multiplication, and multiplication is not going to come before division. They come in order from left to right. Here, give, let me give you an example. Let's say we have something like this. Which one are we going to do first? If you said multiplication, I am sorry, but please rethink your answer because it's incorrect. You're going to do the division first. Why? Because when we do multiplication and division, we actually do whichever comes first from left, this is the left, to right. So here, 4 divided by 2 is actually, what number multiplied by 2 will give me 4, and that will be 2. So this will turn into 2 multiplied by 2 will give me 4. So you see, even though we say MD, we can also say DM. It doesn't matter because we don't do them in that order. We just do them in whatever order comes first from left to right. Okay, good. Are you good with that? All right. So last but not least, here we have addition and we have subtraction and Sarah. So again, we do not do addition and subtraction in the order that we say. We just do them in the order it comes from left to right. So if we had a problem like uh, for addition, like 4 subtracted by 2 plus 3, which one would we do first? If you said addition, that's incorrect. You do whichever comes first from left to right. So 4 minus 2, that's the one you're going to do first because it came first from left to right. So 4 minus 2 is 2, and then 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Okay, so now we have reviewed all the orders of operations. So we're going to erase this because this was, and we're going to put PEMDAS with nice big letters, I'm going to do purple, P E M D A S. And we're going to look at our problem right here and try to do it. Now, do we have parentheses? No, we don't. So we cross it out. Cross the. Do we have exponents? No, we don't. We're done with that. Mashallah, we move really fast. <laughs> now, let's take a look. Remember, multiplication and division, MD. We, we start from left to right, whichever comes first. So let's see here. Do we have division or multiplication coming first? Not really. We have division coming first. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to divide first. So 64, 64 divided by 8 equals what? You have to think of a number when you multiply it by 8 will give you 64. If you don't know that, you better pause this video and go back to your time tables and review. Please review if you want to do well in the JAT. So, we know that 8 multiplied by 8 will give you 64. So there you go. 64 divided by 8 will give you 8. So this here is actually, we can cross it out and we can put an 8 here. We can actually cross it out. Now, let's not forget the remaining operations. Don't get too happy. We have multiplication and, and we also have the subtraction. Now, what did we say? Are we going to do subtraction or are we going to do the multiplication? Subtraction is last. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sara. Sara is last, which means subtraction is last, and which means that we're going to multiply before we subtract, definitely. So here we go. 8 multiplied by 4 will give you how much? 32. 
So now we can cross this out and get 32. So now we have, what is the remaining of our problem? Oh, we're almost done. Yay, hit the parade. So let's erase this. And our remaining problem is 120 minus 32. Woo, let's do it. Okay, 120 minus 32. Now some people are gonna say, teacher, I don't know how to subtract on the side. Okay, no problem. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put the number 120 here and 32 here. Let's do it this way, okay? So, how much is zero minus two? Oops, how much is that? We can't do it. We have to borrow from the two, turn this into a one, and then turn this into a 10. Now, can we do 10 minus two? Yes, we can. How far away is two from 10? Eight. Now, let's do the next one. One, one minus three. How much is one minus three? We can do it. We have to borrow from the one. Let's borrow from the one, turn it into a zero, and turn the one into an 11. Now we can subtract. 11 minus 3 is how much? How far away is 3 from 11? 8. That's right. And the answer is 88. Mashallah, we did it. It's 88. So it's right here. Right here, this is the answer. Congratulations. What have we learned today? We have learned PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sue. We do parentheses first. Then we do, these are parentheses, not brackets. And this, this is exponents, like this. Then we have multiplication. Then we have division. Then we have addition. And then we have subtraction. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sarah. Masalama. Please, please do not forget to subscribe below. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching.